Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to give three exercises that every wrestler should do, even our younger ones, and uh, requires no equipment. So number one, every wrestler, and I say this every time I go to a wrestling club, I go, I shouldn't have to teach you guys how to do push-ups. Every time I see uh, wrestlers doing push-ups, I'm gonna say 75% of them are doing it wrong. They're going head down, they're moving their elbows one to two inches, and they're just headbutting the floor. I want to see the body in a straight line, essentially like a two by four. The body should be like a ruler. The only thing moving should be the arms. Push-ups are number one. The other exercise, pull-ups or body weight pulling. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, my little garage gym here that would be perfect for a wrestler. I've also got a rope here, so it could be pull-ups. It could be rope climbing. If you can't do pull-ups, especially our heavier wrestlers, they would do uh, an inverted row or a recline row. That's number two. Number three, hill sprints. You got to be good at sprinting. My preference is hills. It's a little bit safer. It forces you to go all out. I've seen a lot of kids on the um, flatter surface. They don't really know how to run properly. When you're on a hill, you're getting elbow drive, knee drive. You're driving off the balls of your feet. Um, if you don't have a hill, you've got to go out and find a hill. Lots of people always ask me, Zach, what's a substitute for, you know, a sandbag, shouldering? What's a substitute if I don't have a sled? We have to stop getting into this, what's the substitute? There is no substitute. There is or there is not. Um, I'm going to give, you know, even though I said three, I'm going to give a tie with those hill sprints, jumping rope. Buddy Lee, former wrestler, I believe he was a two-time national champ, correct me if I'm wrong. He was also a Greco Olympian. I believe he took uh, sixth place in the Olympics. Um, he was a huge advocate of jumping rope. And I met him about 10 years ago in Virginia. And he was telling me when he trained for wrestling, he always jumped rope, you know, power jump rope. So he would do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. Or he would jump rope five, six minutes in a row very aggressively to build the power and speed endurance required for a wrestling match. He said when he found out you know how the Russians were training, uh, not just lifting weights, but training outdoors. He said he started um, getting tree logs chopped up and training with stones and doing the clean and press, throwing tree logs over his head to develop further power to train beyond just wrestling and jumping rope. So the three exercises, push-ups, pull-ups, or some sort of bodyweight pulling or bodyweight rowing exercise, uh, sprinting, and or jumping rope. We could say that's four, but I'm gonna stick with three. Here's all you need to set up in a garage gym. And our youth wrestlers could do this as well. I've got a pair of rings up there. You could do the rings uh, pull-ups. You could lower those rings and do recline row. You could also do push-ups off the rings. So I love the rings. You could kind of maneuver your hands um, to work the body a little bit differently. You can see here is a climbing rope, um, not too high. But this is good. When we moved here, my son wasn't even two years old. And he started, uh, my son and daughter started climbing the rope using their feet. And then, of course, eventually you build up to climbing rope without your legs assisting. Um, and climbing rope starting on your butt. Climb all the way up with just the arms. Climb all the way down with just the arms. And I believe on my YouTube channel, I've got a variation of a recline rope climb. So you basically lay back and uh, you're climbing up and down that rope from your back on the floor, climbing up and down, and you'd probably go three, four, five reps, depending on how heavy you are. So how simple is that? You could get a wrestling workout right out here. You could do sprints on the street or jumping rope out on your driveway, maybe put some plywood down there so it's a little bit softer on the joints, then you've got your push-ups and pull-ups. Now, I'm not gonna say that's all you need, but that is three exercises every wrestler must do. Um, there's just no two ways about it. I don't want to say that they are the best because there's a lot of different exercises that wrestlers could do. It depends on your age, uh, your level of physical preparation. But when I go to the wrestling clubs, I go, everybody here, even if I never spoke to you before, what do you know how to do? You know how to run hard, push-ups, and pull-ups. And of course, the ultimate way to get better at wrestling is you got to wrestle, you got to drill hard. You got to live wrestle hard. Drilling hard is the ultimate conditioner. But 
if everybody's wrestling and your competition's going to the wrestling club, what are you doing to differentiate yourself from the wrestling competition? That's it, guys. Zach Evanesh. Hit the links below. Talk to you soon. Peace.